The Celtic people of the north used to believe that during the fall season their year began. And actually for the Celtics, their New Year's was November 1st. October 31st was the final day of the year for the Celtic people of the north. And that day was called the day of Samhain. And this individual, well, Iyadu Billah, was supposed to be the, 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 their god of, of, of the spirits of the dead, of evil again. And according to their belief, the evil spirits would rise to the surface and would terrorize people on that evening. And on that evening, if you did something wrong to a person, they'd come back to get you on that night. So some people would put on a disguise. So you couldn't recognize them on October 31st, on that evening. And then they would be safe. Also, they would burn fires. Now the only thing we find left of that is the jack-o'-lantern that they would put inside of their window, window made from the pumpkin. What actually happened in Europe is that the church moved All Saints Day, a day for the saints. They moved it from May 13th to November 1st in 1834 AD. And so what they said was that the 31st night is All Hallows Evening. All Hallows Evening, which in America later became known as Halloween. Halloween. And they depict the forces of evil. What is happening now is that the children put on disguises. They dress as little devils, little witches as goblins, vampires, anything evil, and they go out. And now with the new American way, they do trick or treat. And they come to your house asking for food. And some Muslims, they send their little children um, and they're in little disguises. How are you going to dress and go out there? And so to send a Muslim child out to trick or treat is a demeaning, lowering thing. You're asking them to beg people for food. Then they're dressed up in, a, in, in, in as a way that they're not. Then when the candies and, and things come in the bag, how do you know what it is they actually gave you? Is it halal? Most of the candies today are made with gelatin, with glycerin. They're made with pork products. And what is also happening is that there are some evil, wicked-minded people who are attacking children on that night. They openly say on the television, do not send your children trick-or-treating by themselves. Do not go to in darkened streets. Move as a group. Don't go to a house that you don't know the people on the inside. And there are literally groups of Satanists who are capturing children and they're performing a rite, sacrificing the child on that evening of Samhain, supposedly to get more spiritual power. It's happening right now. And so from so many angles, Muslims should have nothing to do with Halloween.